listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio, man. We are here once again. And today, man, we have a true honor talking to a special guest, the one and only Akbar Baja Bia Miller. He's the host of NBC's four time Emmy Award nominated. American Ninja Warrior. First and foremost, sir, how you doing this morning? Jemaya, first off, uh, I, I got to say I'm doing well, but uh, your voice is the iconic radio voice. Holy moly. That voice needs to be boxed up with gold. My goodness. And are you putting on the radio voice or is that is like this is you're just that cool? Man, my voice was cracking in the fourth grade. So, yeah, it's my real voice. <laughs> <laughs> Man. But- Wow. Like, okay, that is a voice right there, man. If I had that voice, man, I'd be like, uh, I'd, I think I'd be an acting or something. I'd be like a movie star. My goodness, that's a voice right there. I'm so sorry. I've gotten so off track. I was I was falling into a trance with your voice. <laughs> no, I appreciate that, man. If I, if I had any uh, athletic skills, I'd be in the NFL and play <laughs> some seasons like you did, man. So <laughs> let's talk about this American Ninja Warrior. You even wrote sure. a book about this as well. It's an inspirational show. It really shows the power of just mindset and determination to defeat the odds. So kind of tell the audience a little bit about your experience being the host of the show. Well, look, it started for me back in season five um, for, you know, on American Ninja Warrior. And, you know, I came in having retired from the NFL and coming into a whole new genre of sports. And to be honest with you, I wasn't even really familiar with Ninja Warrior. I kind of faked the fake the phone during the auditions. Um, but I did get a chance to kind of, you know, speed up and watch, you know, some of the, you know, the 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 shows just to kind of familiarize myself before going in um, on the audition. But, uh, you know, after I got it and I actually had a chance to see it in real life, I was just blown away. And I still believe to this day that these are some Ninja Warriors a lot harder than playing in the NFL. Some people are like, how could you say that? I know how much we love the NFL. It is so different, right? And it's hard to compare. But what I mean by that is that these ninjas are not only going up against obstacles that they've never seen before. Can you imagine walking into, you know, you know, I think about, you know, the preparation that goes into an NFL game, right? We watch film, we practice, we go through all the different moves. We kind of know what to expect because we've been training. These ninjas train hard blindly. And then it's just like, boom, we're going to put up a new obstacle that you've never seen before. And you got to compete and you only get one shot. It's not like you're getting multiple downs. It's not like you get more opportunities, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. You get one shot. And if you fall, you got to wait 364 days to come back and get that opportunity again. And so that's why I believe it is one of the hardest sports ever. It's why there's even talks of it coming to the Olympics. I mean, because I think there's a lot of respect and a lot of credibility that Ninja Warrior has. But, you know, you watch these ninjas, they're overcoming the hardest obstacles in the world. This year, we get another million dollar winner. And, you know, for those who are not familiar with American Ninja Warrior, you've got a better chance of winning the lottery than you do of competing and winning, excuse me, the winning um, American Ninja Warrior. And so for, you know, these ninjas to compete and get all the way down, I mean, can you imagine just thinking back if you play a season and not get a winner? Think about that. If you watch an entire NFL season or NBA season and there's no champion, that can happen on Ninja Warrior because it's that difficult. It's that hard. And so this year to be able to, in season 15, um, to be able to say that we've got a million dollar winner, it's a big deal. You got to rock with us and you got to check it out on Monday night. And the only thing that's harder than being on that show is probably saying your last name. But I thank God for the cheat sheet today because <laughs> Akka, Ak- Akbar Bajabia Miller is on the show today talking to us about season 15 of American Ninja Warrior. And like you said, the stakes are very high. I mean, yeah. what is it like watching people in the live presence before, you know, American gets to see them? Because I can sense the the intensity is super high when people are about to make this course. Yeah, it it is. Um, I think what you what you see from us is a, is pure excitement. Um, the excitement is is huge because you know with 
with Ninja and seeing it live and in person, there's this oddness. Like for me, you know, when I'm preparing to call the runs, I actually don't study the obstacles until the night of. And I come in about two or three hours before my call time and I actually start to learn the obstacles that we're getting ready to call. And you say, well, why would you do that? Well, because I want to just be just as surprised as the ninjas who are who are competing as well, because they don't know what they're seeing as well. So I don't know. I shouldn't know what I'm seeing. And I'm just in awe because you're going, how are these human beings figuring it out? Like, how are they able to master this in such a short amount of time and being able to figure it out? And that's what's so impressive. And so when you hear the high energy and when you hear some people say, man, you guys are just always high energy. I'm not putting on a show. I'm like, like, can you imagine if you just saw somebody just walking around, flipping out, flipping cars, like just walking up and flipping cars? Do you think you're like, oh man, look at that guy. He's flipping cars. No one expects anyone to just walk around flipping cars. And that's how I am. And that's how Matt is when we're calling the runs. We don't know because we don't have the expectation that Human beings can figure these out. I'm, I'm telling you, they should all be Marvel superheroes. I really do believe they're part of the Marvel, Marvel universe. I really do. The national finals is in Las Vegas. I'm jealous. And the <laughs> cool thing about this show is that not only uh, people expect the finale to be aired on September 11th, but like you said earlier, it's a huge prize opportunity that people can win. Tell us how can that be uh, accomplished? Well, you got to climb up a 70 foot, uh, a 70 plus the uh, uh, rope. There's a rope climb that you got to climb up and it's almost eight stories high. Just imagine climbing up a rope, eight stories high, 75 feet, excuse me, 75 feet. You got to climb up to get to the top and hit that buzzer, but you got to hit it in under 30 seconds. That's extremely difficult. Why do I know that? Because we've only had a handful of winners in five season, excuse me, in 15 seasons. That's, that's not a lot. You know what I mean? And so it is very, very challenging, um, you know, uh, a challenging course, to say the least. But uh, what I love is that we've had multiple ninjas make it to stage four this year. And so you're going to start to watch and you're going to try to figure out which of these ninjas you're watching on Monday nights are going to make it down to the very final stage four competition. Um, but it is, it is the hardest obstacle course in the world, and that's for a reason. Last thing for you is you grew up in South Central L.A. You excel in sports. You know what it's like to achieve your dreams. You wrote a book, Everyone Can Be a Ninja, Find Your Inner Warrior and Achieve Your Dreams. What would you say for anybody out there who just need that more encouragement to keep pressing on? Well, I would tell them this. To be good is not good enough if you dream of being great. Um, and I think the dream of being great is not being content with just going, oh, I did that. Like, keep moving forward, just keep trying to learn um, and never to me, never be satisfied with I learned that because there's always something to learn. Um, but Shamai, I, I did want to say and it wasn't lost on me that, you know, as we reflect the fact that, you know, our ninja finals will be on September 11th. It's not lost on me that, of course, the whole world especially here in the United States, will always forever remember the United States um, um, of what happened on the United States with the Twin Towers going down um, and how America has persevered and has overcome that big obstacle to have that terrorist attack on our land, on our soil, that Ninja Warrior um, is an obstacle course um, that we're going to see these ninjas overcome these obstacles. And so I think to me, it's the great American story about overcoming obstacles, uh, and the greatness of, of, of America. You're going to see the greatness of ninjas. Um, but that's all coming down on September 11th. I think it's a great way to honor, um, those who lost their lives on September, on the September 11th uh, attacks. So, um, but yeah, thank you so much for having me. Great words from our special guest today, Akbar Baja Bia Miller, and he's the host of the four-time Emmy Award nominated American Ninja Warrior. Catch it on Monday nights, 8, 7 Central at NBC. Thank you, sir, for your time. Hey, thank you, Shamai. Hey, can I have your voice? Man, I mean, you have to talk to your people, talk to my people, man. we see what okay. happens. <laughs> All right, man.